the Sigmore team lead over at EXP Realty. I am here with Karen Oxner of U Mortgage and U Can United. That's right. <laughs> Happy to be here. Karen Oxner with U Mortgage here. Jody and I are joining you today to hopefully answer some real estate questions and maybe some mortgage questions too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we decided to pop on and so you can actually see our faces as we talk through <laughs> a lot of these things, especially in today's market, because so much uh, of the world now is like encumbered by AI and emails and text messages and it's become so very impersonal. Um, so yeah, we decided just to say hello this way. In person, <laughs> put a face to a name and a voice. I love that. Yes. So I have been doing real estate since 2007. I've seen a lot of ups and downs in the market. Uh, and uh, you know, now is a is one of those times where it's an interesting era of coming into what we would call a normal market. And that's abnormal for a lot of people, especially as we come out of COVID. Absolutely. So I've been in the mortgage industry for almost 23 years now. And I joke and say that I got into the business when I graduated from college at the tender young age of 12. <laughs> I can't believe it's actually been 23 years, but the nice thing is that I've been able to not only see a multitude of different markets, but knowing how to respond and react and pivot during each of these markets has really helped me find opportunities to thrive no matter the situation. So we're going to talk about some of those today and hopefully share some insights and information and just what we're seeing as we navigate this new market. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yes. Well, I mean, if you want to dive in there, I'm very curious. I actually have a lot of clients that ask me, you know, why today? Why buy now? We have had a lot of discussion about this. So the last several years, we have seen an extremely low, in fact, an unprecedented low interest rate environment, which has been great for a lot of reasons. Affordability was great from a payment perspective. The challenge in a market like that is it becomes, it moves so quickly that you almost can't make a good decision or take time to actually go see a property once or twice before you're expected to make one of the biggest financial decisions in your whole entire life, almost sight unseen. So it moved so quickly because competition was so fierce. Prices were escalating like crazy. Sellers were not willing to negotiate with buyers. A repair addendum? No way, not in that market. There were appraisal waivers, inspection waivers, things that actually in a normal, really healthy market are not necessarily good for consumers, good for buyers, maybe even good for sellers. So although the downside in a market where we see volatility in interest rates and interest rates increasing can be looked at as a con, so high interest rates maybe on the con side of the spectrum, on the positive side of the spectrum, we're seeing a much more normal market. We're seeing an opportunity for buyers and sellers to actually negotiate in a healthier way with each other. We're seeing buyers be able to negotiate for repairs, negotiate for seller contributions, get an actual list price that is the list price, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but not a hundred, a hundred and twenty thousand dollars over list mm -hmm. with, by the way, a line of 15 people out the door trying to get in and make that offer. So it's actually, in my opinion, in many ways, a much healthier and more normalized market because of human nature and really wanting to take the time to make that good decision, wanting to get an inspection, wanting to do an appraisal, not waiving all of your rights and all of these contingencies as a buyer, just because you're so desperate to get that house that 20 other people are in competition for. Right, 100%, that's exactly what I'm seeing as well. I, we have some cushion, if you will, to take the moments to think about some things and to really negotiate things through, um, whether it's coming together at the table and negotiating a sales price, or it's coming together at the table after we're under contract and negotiating for some repairs or some concessions. affordable levels, even from an emotional standpoint, as people adjust to the changing 